Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, we thought we'd have a full day of bun mee. And essentially what we're going to do is we have some new bun mee spots on the Gold Coast that we want to check out. So we're going to go have a look at those and try those out. And we're also going to go test out some of our old favorites as mm. such. We regular, so we've just pulled up to the first one. Weather's turned a bit, so we thought we'd film this clip in the car. So, we'll take you with us. got to Atma, we've ordered a bun mee each. Um, we haven't had anything for breakfast this morning, so we're very hungry. And we also got a Vietnamese iced coffee, which I've never had, but Ryan has. So we'll give that a go as well. Yeah, yum. Good. Sweet. Mm. <laughs> Gonna drink the whole thing. Ice. It's very strong, but it's sweet. I haven't had it from here, so I'm very interested. Oh, it's yum. Good, isn't it? That's bloody delicious. All the condensed milk. So we got a barbecue pork and a crispy pork belly, and they were $9.95 each. Yep. I think the coffee was... Six bucks? Yeah, six dollars. Yeah, six dollars. So... Yeah, $25 all round, I think, yep. came to. Breakfast of Champions. Um, and it's just in like a convenience store, just like an IGA or like a small supermarket here for us. So let's have a look-see. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. Yum. So Ryan got in and ordered the pork belly before I could, but we're sharing this. I want that bit. You're going to want that bit? Okay, you have that bit. The barbecue pork is delicious. It's really got a nice sweet glaze on it, almost like a sweet barbecue type of sauce. Chili's nice. I put it down with more chili. Carrots are nicely pickled. Everything's bloody pretty good. Nice amount of coriander. Cucumbers, nice and fresh. Try this guy. Mm. I reckon. So this is the crispy pork belly. Look at that. Got big chunks of like crackle in it. Oh, don't give me that bit then. Oh yum. You have a try. Try the crackle. Mm. Good. It's bloody good. Mm. Alright. Mm. I'm going straight in. Tastes like Christmas. Tastes like Christmas. Tastes like the bread roll is like the best thing ever, isn't it? It's so flaky and crispy and... Should I try it first? Well, oh, yeah, yum. Go. Mmm. Mmm. Crispy pork is delightful. It's got a stack of fatty pork belly in there, little bits of crackling in it. I think I prefer this one. Mm. Yeah, I'd probably- A bit more flavor. I'd probably actually say I agree with you on that. I thought the barbecue pork would have a lot more flavor, but it doesn't. Mm. I find the barbecue pork is probably relying a bit on the sauce, a bit much, but they're both excellent. Don't get me wrong. I just, I'm a sucker for fatty, mm. crispy pork, so. Mm. I can't say no. Alright, let's try a bit more of this, hey? Mm. Mm. Alright, Pete and fallen pork. Mm. Crispy pork is very good. 
I haven't had a bit with the crackling yet. That was so good. That is a excellent way to start the day. Mm. Breakfast has officially been mm. eaten. It's time. It's just after 10 o'clock. Mm. We're a little bit late today. First one of the day, first cab off the rank. I hope they're all this good. If they're all this good today, we're in for a very good day. guys so this is stop number two on our little bun me adventure for the day uh this place is called oriental bakery mm -hmm. um they're a very hole in the wall sort of next door to an asian grocer uh one one lady that sort of runs the place she does everything she does all the all the bun me's she organizes all the steamed dumplings she makes sure all the stock uh, shelves are stocked everything while well, i think her husband's out the back baking everything um, to be honest, these guys are like a regular stop for me. They, these are one of my all time favorite bun me places, sort of just around the corner from us, not too far away um, and nice and convenient. So what do we get? We got a pork bun me. Pork bun me. And opposed to the crispy pork, they use the like sliced, sliced yeah, like I don't know, it's just like a rolled pork piece almost. Mm. Um, so she always asks if you want chili, uh, which I always say yes. Um, but she, we got a little relationship with her where she thinks I'm a bit of a crazy person and puts extra on all the time. So we have a lot of chili in this guy today. And they're homegrown, aren't they? Yeah, they're all homegrown chilies as well. I'll show you. Yeah. We'll see. You can do that. Hang on, take that lid completely off. There you go. So she goes a bit crazy with the chilies, which, you know what, I'm com like, I'm not upset about. We'll see. They're so good, so. So as well as the bun me, we also got- A pork a, bun. Yeah, barbecue pork bun, take him out of there completely. He's very hot. He's okay, he's okay. You do the split. Because you always say yes to a pork bun for entree. Yum. Yeah, yum. Give me half of him. We'll eat that before it gets cold. Moment of truth on this. I'm sure we've had one from oh, there beforehand. I've had lots. <laughs> yum, they're so good. Mm. Mm. They're honestly so good. The best three dollars you ever spend. They're not too sweet, it's good. No, they're really nice. Nice big pieces of pork in it. Because it does like custard buns, jam donuts, like all your different types of sweets as mm. well. Which we usually do a custard bun, but we decided not to today because we've got so many bun me's to eat. Yeah, we thought having, having you know, more than two or three bun me's each per person could get a bit hectic. So take it easy. The waistline will appreciate it. Mm. So we're just sharing this one, this bun me. We're just gonna share this. Yeah, yum. Do you want to go in first? No, you eat it first. Okay, okay. Hold up. Or should I do that bit? Two seconds. No, you know what? I'm gonna go first. 
gonna go first. Go I'm for it. I'm scared in my white dress. The uh, chilies have a lot of heat. The chilies are very hot. Mm. Yum. So good. Crispy, fresh baked, baked bread roll. They bake, being a being an Asian uh, bakery, they bake all their own bread on site, which is <laughs> such a win. Honestly, it makes it so much better. I just needed mm. a drink because the chilies have a fair bit of heat. Mm. The um, one of my favourite things about this bun me is the pate that they use there. It's so flavoursome. It's such a key component to it. It's really nice where the meat is almost secondary to the pate. Mm. How are the chilies? <coughs> you okay? They're so hot, <laughs> aren't they? <laughs> she does good chilli. Mm. It's so hot. I try mm. to decide which bit I want all the time. It's so good. This, as much as the, the last place at market was very good, there's something about this one. It's really simple. Like, honestly, if only a few ingredients, but a few ingredients done extremely well. And I don't know, there's something about standing in the back car park, eating your bun me, so you don't get crumbs in your car. It's sort of just a bit of tradition about this place. How like, how many times have I sat on the curb out the front of the place, yeah. eating my sandwich so I don't get crumbs in the car? And Because let's be honest, crispy, toasty bread, you're gonna wear half of it. So good. Mm. I forget how good this is sometimes. You haven't I haven't had it in a little bit. I haven't been in a couple of months and I forget how bloody good it is. This is usually your hangover meal. Yeah, if I've if I've been out for a few drinks the night before, straight here, first thing in the morning, honestly, a can of, a, can of Coke and a bun me and a couple of pork buns, yeah. can't go wrong. So good. So good. three on the list. What was it? Miami hot bread. Miami hot bread. It is another regular of ours. Mm. We frequent Burley quite often um, and this is just on the north end of Burley. So yeah, we've been here a few times. We sort of know what they do. They have about five or six different bun mees available. And they work as like just a normal bakery as well. Yeah, they operate as a normal bakery so you can just go there and get your pies and sausage rolls and sweets and cakes and stuff like that. Yeah. But they also have some pho. They've got some other little Vietnamese treats as well, like uh, salads. Um, they also have like some of your summer rolls and stuff like that. Yeah. As well as about eight different bun mees to choose from. So you got a Barbecue pork? Yeah, I got the barbecue pork. And what they, the trick with their barbecue pork, it's not like most other barbecue pork places. It's actually a meat patty, like a burger patty almost, but it's got garlic, lemongrass, you know, ginger in it, all these like herbs and spices and flavorings in it. And they cook it into like a beef patty, like a burger, and they slice it and then put it throughout, mm. which is really nice. Bit different, but really good. And you got your beef lemongrass. Yeah, your favorite. I've had that before. I'm not a big fan of pork usually. And then chicken, I'm pretty particular and has to be chicken breast 
usually so I found that they do a really really good um, beef lemongrass that I like so yeah we've got a mix of both today For and sure. we also got I got a solo and Ryan just got a coke zero as well yep just Sweet. to push it all down. So this is number, bun me number four and number five for the day, so. But oh. place number three. Yeah, starting to feel a bit full, but all right, let's rip into these. Let's work out whose is whose. This right. is yours. Okay. Now, again, everywhere we go, they say, do you want chili? So we always get chili. Okay, yeah. so as we are saying, this is bun me four and five in less than four hours essentially but i still feel hungry you're still feeling hungry i feel hungry but like the last time what we had it almost like kick-started another hunger like yeah another stomach kicked in yeah that last one actually i felt hungrier after eating it than mm. i did before eating it so we got one each this time we thought why not we'll cover off dinner and just have <laughs> fruit or <laughs> a vegetable for dinner or something so yeah you go first so essentially the the beef patty yeah it's looking pretty bloody good a lot of chili all very ice like very in one spot all the chili a bit of a different looking baguette yeah. this one's cut down the middle whereas the other ones we've had a cut like through the sides of it yeah not that that really makes mm. a difference yeah good always good <laughs> I don't think you can get a bad one, to be honest. No. They're all pretty good. So I think they make them pretty much the same. They did different ones. Um, I think Ryan might have taken, they do like a tuna roll, a veggie roll. Mm. Um, they do the barbecue pork plus just a normal pork, a chicken one, and then the beef and lemongrass. Um, they're pretty much all the same. I think the barbecue one, uh, the pork ones always have pate from what I could see on the menu. Whereas the other ones don't, they're just purely like mayonnaise. Um, and they drizzle it with like a bit of a sauce to finish it off. Yeah, I think it's just a bit of a soy sauce. Yeah. A bit like the Maggi seasoning. Yeah, yeah, yum. So not like proper soy sauce, just, I don't even know what that is, that Maggi seasoning. It's just seasoning. Yeah, it's like a seasoning sauce. It's really nice, but All that's right. quite common. You try yours. What end should I go Go from? this end, there's a bit of meat hanging out the end of it. Oh, the chilies have got a few Do revs they? to them, Can yeah. You just touch him and put him there. Reconfigure. Let's put your little can of drink on him. Mm. <laughs> Looks good. There's no pretty way of eating them. You just gotta go mm. straight in. Tomato? Mm. What's that doing in there? Might be just with the beef ones, they put some tomato in there. Mm. That's a bit odd. Can I have a bite? Ooh. The beef's really flavoursome. They don't skimp on like the lemongrass flavour to it. No, that's really nice. Which is nice. It was very aromatic and lemongrassy and gingery. Mmm, yum. The chilli's nice too. That's good chili. In that I haven't one. had it yet. Mm. Yum. Enjoy that. Mm. Yeah. That's it. I find the barbecue pork they do here is a bit different. I'll see if I can grab a piece out. Mm. So you can sort of see it's sort of like a like a burger patty, but mm. very flavoursome. A lot of garlic in it. That's probably the biggest thing you can taste from that patty, is how much garlic's in it. Bit of ginger. It's good though, lemongrass. Yum, they're delightful. They've almost got a little bit of a sweetness to them, to be honest, mm. the patty. It's nice. All right, we're gonna eat this and we'll see you back in the car in a minute for a bit of a rundown. Yeah, on the Gold Coast, I'd say over the past 18 months, there hasn't been much options for mm. traditional Vietnamese food. Uh, there's been a handful of them, but not an awful lot of them. So choices haven't been very abundant. But recently there's been a lot of Vietnamese places popping up with some really good food. So 
I think your places where, well, we used to frequent Miami Hot Bread quite a bit. Yeah. But I think places like that are going to slide off and taper off. And we, anyway, just our opinion, we'd probably prefer a bit more of a traditional bun mm. me, traditional mm. Vietnamese food. So, yeah. So, top one for the day. We'll narrow mm. it down to that. My ranking goes mm -hmm. Oriental Bakery, mm -hmm. one. At market, a very, very, very close second. Or is it tied first? Or no. no. Mm. It still comes under. Yeah, I'd say... They I'd both have their pros and cons. Yeah. And that, you, if you merge them both together, I reckon you would have the perfect Make bun the mee. ultimate bun mi if you combine a couple of elements from each. But yeah, I definitely go Oriental. Then I got a very close second is Atmar, and then third by some way is Miami Hot Bread. Mm -hmm. yeah. I do Atmar way above, not way above Oriental Bakery, but that was like, I'm so glad we started out with that. That was like the best thing. It was to a good way to start morning. the day. Yeah. yeah, and then Oriental Bakery, and then yeah, Miami Hot Bread. Yeah. So. We've got, we went to go to another place today, but didn't realize they were closed because it's a Sunday. Mm. So we're going to do um, this kind of series again and do another day full of bun mi. Yeah, a bit of a part two is on the cards yeah. with a few places that we didn't get to go to and another couple of our favorites mm. that we didn't have an opportunity to give a go in this video. Obviously, being bakeries, they're open quite early and fit and close quite early. So you have limited amount of time. You can get to them during the day. And today, unfortunately, we could only get to three. I would have loved to get to another couple, but I don't know if my waistline would have yeah. appreciated that. Because <laughs> what, five bun me's in a day yeah, between the two of us, yeah. it's pretty excessive, but you know what? We're doing it for food science. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. We got, we got to let we got to let you guys know what's good. So, so um, yeah. If you guys go to any places on the Gold Coast that you want us to try, we've just been kind of coming across it or going off what other people have said. So, um, or what Google tells us to. So we'll do another series. Um, and if there's any places that you guys go to regularly, um. Yeah, Within the Gold reckon, Coast, yeah. Brisbane, over the border, kind of New South Wales. Um, we're kind of happy to go do those. So leave a comment and tell us where you guys usually yeah. go. We will definitely travel for food. So make sure you leave your recommendations down in the comments. Because we will 100% give them a go. Because, I don't know if you've noticed yet, we're only a few videos in. But we don't mind to eat. Yeah. So, <laughs> so you, you let us know what your favourite is. Even let us know what, from the ones you've seen today what you would have picked what would have been your go-to yeah because obviously we're just giving our opinions and ryan and i vary quite a lot as well just between us so it's interesting to see other people's perspectives of whether you would have liked more of that salad type of style or whether you would have gone crispy or barbecue pork or what have you so yeah, yeah. be nice to hear from you guys and that's probably a wrap for today mm -hmm. so long story short Go to your local bun me shop, give it a go. They're bloody delicious. Mm. We love them. I'm sure you guys will love them. And, you know, if you have made it this far in the video, <laughs> give us a subscribe. We thank you. Yeah, thank you is the first, but give us a subscribe as well. Like the video, comment, any interaction. We'll be down there replying to absolutely everyone that get, you know comments to any of our videos. Because um, we really want to get to know you guys, want to create that little community. We want to know your recommendations of where to eat. So, mm. yeah, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe if you've made it this far. And again, thank you for eating with us. We've had a good time, and we will see you in the next one. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye, guys. <laughs>